Hi there, I'm Steven, and today we're talking about junior tennis balls. Almost all kids' programs now have a progressive system of tennis, where they match the age and skill level of a player with a certain type of tennis ball. At the very beginning, we have the foam balls. These are for kids playing for the very first time, just learning the game, and are used just in mini tennis, or sometimes even around the house, just bouncing it on the strings and really starting to develop that hand-eye coordination. They can be used on a tennis court, but they won't travel the full length. Like I said, just used for sort of half court and mini tennis. Once the kids can move around a little bit more, they'll progress to the red dot ball. And these are a little bit bigger than a traditional tennis ball and only about 25% of the compression. So they're great for developing rallies and starting to play a little bit longer. Um, they aren't as affected by the wind outdoors like the foam balls are, so they're great on actual tennis courts. Then we have the orange dot ball. Uh, these are the same size as a tennis ball, but only about 50% of the compression. So these are for kids still using aluminum junior rackets sort of three-quarter to full-length court, uh, but for kids who don't quite have the strength or consistency to hit a regular tennis ball yet. And at 75% of the compression of a real ball is the green dot. So these are pressurized, and they kind of play like an older tennis ball, so a little slower, not quite as bouncy. These will be used mostly by stronger competitive juniors or ones that are almost at the transition to adult rackets. We also frequently recommend these to adults learning the game. They're a little bit slower, and they help slowing down the rallies, that allows you to really focus on your swing. Uh, you won't send the ball flying as much, and it really makes learning tennis much more enjoyable. At the end of the day, that's what it's all about. 